Hello everybody, it's Trudy, and today I have a G3, um, a Generation 3, I do believe, um, and I think her name's Tula Rula, and, um, well, I got her a little while ago from a thrift shop. She's in pretty bad condition, her hair is terrible, she's in McDonald's, and she has a little skunk on her side, and her ears a little chewed up, and her front hoof. But luckily, most of it is on this side, where the hair would go probably, and not really on her display side, which people call this the display side. So, we're going to be washing her up today. Um, it's kind of, this is going to be kind of a tutorial slash just kind of me messing around video. So, enjoy! For Pony's hair that's really bad, I like to stick it under the water and um, wash the hair because washing the hair kind of just helps it. So I use whatever shampoo, it doesn't really matter that much. Just use normal shampoo. Just get a little bit, not a lot, not a lot, because you don't want to make it. And if it's a really old pony, like G1, you might want to be careful with getting its hair wet at all or washing it because you don't want it to fall out or anything because old ponies hair is very fragile. So we're just going to wash it and that's about it. You're going to wash it. It's really tangled so just try to smoothen it out a little bit by running your fingers on it like this to make it kind of flat and you're going to rinse it. Really easy, simple. And you're going to take your pony comb that you get with uh, G4 Freshville Pony. You get most of them because this is the only thing I found that works without ripping out your pony's hair. Now you're going to have to, for pony's hair like this, you're going to have to try really hard. It's going to still be fizzy when you're done, but you're just going to kind of brush it through by keep brushing it, putting it back in the water, and then keep brushing it some more. I'm not going to actually, like, try to, like, you don't want to brush it too much or the hair will fall out, pretty much. So, you're just going to kind of take the ends, because the ends are the most fizzy part. This is actually pretty smooth, and you're going to hold it, and then just brush it, and that's pretty much it. So after you did her hair pretty much by washing it and trying your best to brush it, what I personally like to do, which is not a step you have to do, is take my little fine scissors I have and just kind of trim the ends a little bit to make it all even and all the weird different pieces, even just like that. All perfect. So that's what I'm gonna do real quick. This is just optional. A lot of people don't cut their pony's hair and I don't really either, but sometimes I like to trim up the ends of the hair a little bit if it's this messy. So, I'm gonna do that real quick, and then we're almost done. Okay, so I trimmed up the ends a bit, and I tucked it right into her two front hooves. And there you go. That's how you turn a not-so-good-condition pony that nobody wants into a lovable, beautiful pony. See, because some ponies don't have very good homes. They're just laying around the thrift store, collecting dust, or sitting in someone's drawer. But you know, I personally think every pony deserves a great home, and all you have to do to get their hair perfect pretty much is wash it and brush it. Now one tip is never, ever, I mean this is my personal opinion, use a comb besides a comb like this, so it has soap on it. <laughs> because that, like a real hair brush will make the hair extremely fizzy at the ends, and maybe the whole entire mane. Anyways, I think it came out absolutely beautiful. The hair isn't perfect, but hey, to me it is. She does have a few bite marks on her front hoof right here, but you can hardly see it. And on the back, she does have marks, and her ears pretty worn out, but that's fine, because mostly, I just keep her like this. <laughs> so you're not gonna really be noticing anything else. Anyways, thank you guys all so much for watching, and have a great day, evening, or night. But remember, if you want to, and though this is optional, you can put a little hair gel into her hair when you're done to make it stay, or more smooth, which I'm gonna try out doing. Anyways, for hair gel for Pony's hair, I use this Smooth Look Axe, because so far this has worked best for Pony's hair, so it's just pretty cheap, like $4, and it, like, I've used it so many times, and that's about all it's gone out of it. And that's pretty much it, and not hardly any at all, so it's a really great deal, and really great for pony styling. But yeah, bye-bye. Hope you enjoyed this video.